Unforgotten Waypoints. Fine. <laughs> Welcome back to Rogue M4. Um, you know, I was driving around, going to different places, and, and uh, you know, driving all over the place. There's a lot of unforgotten waypoints, stop points, mile markers, and stuff. So I'm going to do a collage of stuff that I find. Um, it might be boring to some of you guys, but there's actually some kind of cool stuff. And I'll maybe uh, do some videos or something and show you some of the places that I stop. Should be interesting. Just thought I'd stop and take a break. Found this site. It's kind of a cool painted rock. Andrew Raid. That's pretty cool. Did a POW MIA. Nice little deal. Please sign the guest book. Oh, at least it's got a thing. Help yourself to a Freedom Rock brochure. I might sign that. All Veterans Memorial. A little dark, probably can't see it. Let's see what the other side looks like. Please keep off rock. Well, memory of all the veterans of all wars. So this is kind of nice. It's got benches. It's got flags for POWs. Dedicated to the Gold and Blue Star families from Louisa County Veterans 2019. Nice. So maybe out of respect, we'll sign the guest book. A little windy today. Maybe I can get a good shot. Oh, look at the bricks. Wow, that's nice. I'll try to get a good shot in of the helicopter and see what it looks like. At uh, Bushnell, Illinois. So this is a Veterans Memorial of Foreign Wars. Got a nice place. Notice the bricks got all done too. That's kind of cool. That one's what David Perry. Nice place. It's got benches. All oh, the benches even have the picture. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of a nice park. Thought I'd take a take my break and come over and see it real quick since this is on the way. It's got some nice sculptures. Wind's blowing a little bit. This looks like a. 105 millimeter, maybe it's an M2. Nice. Maybe if you guys know, you can let me know down in the comments. Oh, here's a plate. Yep, 105 millimeter M2. Whoo, rifled barrel. Kind of nice. Here's McDonald Post, 1422. Erected and dedicated to those who served, gave their lives. And the ladies too. Here's another one. Wow. Imagine how loud these things were. Pretty loud. Oh wow, look at the old tank. A 
that's cool. Wow, that is thick steel. That's some thick steel. I wonder why these things were so heavy. I do not know what kind of tank this is. kind of cool. It's got grading up there, but really can't tell. I don't know, where'd they get it? Oh, I guess they got in at the top. Oh, here's a hatch here. Yep, that's kind of cool. I think they probably welded that shut, maybe. Box on the back. Doors welded. <laughs> it's got brake lights and backup lights. That's funny. You know, just in case you're down, going down the highway, I guess. If you know what kind of tank it is, let me know down, down in the comments below. Pretty cool. I can understand the headlights. It looks like it's got infrared lights on it too. Pretty cool. Well, the wind's blowing. This is... Civil War, Spanish-American, World War I, World War II, Vietnam and Gulf War. This marker and the flag, this is actually at a graveyard or cemetery. So this is another marker that they put information on the side of the road telling you that it's here and we're at a cemetery. So this is the Civil War and uh, they also said that Medal of Honor marker and I'm looking around but I don't see Medal of Honor marker but there is a really old 1821 Wow, and that one doesn't say anything on it. It doesn't. Eighteen twenty-one? No, that's gotta be nineteen twenty-one. Nineteen twenty-one. Nineteen eighteen, nineteen thirty-nine, nineteen oh eight. So these markers, that one says, looks like it says 1822, uh, died 1906. Basically I wanted to put this out because, you know, we, we travel around a lot, you know, everybody travels around a lot. And you see these markers on the highways for, uh, you know, places of war or it's a memorial site for, you know, maybe good things that happened, some things were bad. How often do you stop and actually look at them? I'll be honest, there's a lot of times I'd see the marker and I'd just keep driving. I'm trying to make a point of myself that there's people that actually take care of these markers to try to just remember what's happened in our history. And the wind's blowing so I hope it's not affected too much. It, it probably is. But when you see a marker, you should probably stop and look at it. Maybe it'll help, you know, remember the stuff that's happened in the past. So don't forget about some of these places. Um, they were set up to remind us, and it is history. So hope this didn't bore you too much. And you know, I just started thinking about it, so I wanted to put a couple of things together, um, especially now during these times, you know. Uh, a lot of other stuff going on in the in the world, but I don't know. Think about it next time you see a mile marker, or not a mile marker, but a, a marker for memorial site or historic marker, and stop and check it out. We're paying for it anyways. So, thanks for watching Rogue M4. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button, and make sure you share the video if you can. That'd be really, really, really good. Um, I'll see you next time, and I hope you have a great day.